On the day before the publication of leaked Vatican documents, Rome has become a hotbed of rumors. Here's what's known so far. The investigation is ongoing. With the help of a nun who has expertise in computers, the Vatican has analyzed Monsignor Vallejo Balda's computer and cell phone. According to the Vatican police, the material found proves that he leaked confidential documents to an Italian journalist with the intention of publishing them. Francesca Ciauchi spent the night in custody and is now free, after being interrogated by the Vatican. She took to Twitter to deny involvement. I'm not a crow. I have not betrayed the Pope. I have never given documents to anyone. Never. No one. The most delicate leak is a recording of a private meeting between Pope Francis and the accountants at the Holy See. The Pope says that, quote, we must further clarify the finances of the Holy See and make them more transparent. He also requests that, quote, before every purchase or project, three different companies must provide three different budgets and the most appropriate must be chosen. Although the Pope does not come off badly, this leak is a full-blown betrayal of his confidence. Among other cases of corruption, the book documents the lack of cooperation between departments of the Holy See with the prefecture in charge of reviewing the accounts. It means that at least in the first months of his pontificate, parts of the Curia were unwilling to obey the Pope's order for transparency. The most serious effect of the book is the confusion and mistrust it will create between the Vatican and its employees. This may slow the Pope's efforts to reform the Roman Curia's culture. Unirse a noi.